Nearly 20% of the Indiana State Police fleet is in the shop due to a mechanical issue. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Hayden Rostevsky. And I'm Scott Reynolds. ISP is sounding the alarm saying taxpayers are being shortchanged. They deserve better. WDRB's Christy Batista found out the problem is far reaching. What's happening is the oil is actually leaking into the coolant compartment, causing the engine to die. And troopers say it's a safety risk. It's a concern every time Sergeant Kerry Holes gets into his car. Basically, you start noticing an odor that doesn't seem right. You may see some smoke coming out of the tailpipe. Uh, and then eventually the, the car just stops running and it will ruin the engine. Over the past nearly 15 years, Indiana State Police has ordered more than 500 Durangos, costing nearly $26 million. 219 have been issued to troopers. It is you know, a relatively brand new engine. And since then, the agency says 18% of those cars have had a mechanical issue due to a defective oil cooler. It's not just aggravating. It's a, you know, it raises some eyebrows as to how we can respond to different instances. The Sellersburg ISP post has about 11 2023 Durangos, including Sergeant Holes. You know, I watch my temperature gauge, um, which is right there. Two of them are out of commission for this very reason. He's now popping the hood to check for any issues every time he gets gas. It's not just a matter of me jumping into the car. That computer, this camera, all this stuff I'm wearing communicates with the computer in this car. And if I go into another car, that stuff doesn't work. It's not just ISP. Clarksville police say it has experienced significant mechanical issues, too. So much so, the chief says he's switching his fleet over to Chevy Tahoes. Police officers from as far away as New York have reached out to us, saying they are seeing the same thing. Stellantis, Dodge's parent company, says it is covering the cost of repairs, even if the warranty is expired. In a statement, the company says in part certain oil cooler issues are difficult to detect, which may lead to collateral damage and a highly complex remedy. We sincerely regret any inconvenience caused and are working to expedite service for these vehicles. The repairs have been taking four to eight weeks for ISP. It says creating a burden on operations and a loss of public service. With photojournalist Ariana Shuka, Christy Batista, WDRB News.